Hey guys, what's up? Paladin here. Time for another gaming PC build. Before I start this off, I'd like to apologize that I haven't been making too many videos. Uh, when I do, it's one a day or something like that. Uh, not one a day, but you know, it's one when I upload uh, something. It's usually two or three, but uh, I don't know. Uh, you guys, um, it's that time of the year where it's just like everything's slowing down and you don't really feel like doing stuff. <laughs> Granted, I will still be making videos. There will actually be about four of these Maybe actually probably more than four uh, gaming and editing actually PC builds as well late, as well later this month. Uh, firstly, though, to kick the build off, though, let's go with the CPU, the AMD FX 6300. This is a very popular CPU, and it is for 110 dollars. This is just really hard to beat. Um, it's uh, got ADMB of L3 cache. L3 cache, uh, in my opinion, is better to have for video games. It just gives it an extra boost. Um, and it has 6MB of L2 cache, um, so it's a pretty powerful CPU. It has a 3.5 gigahertz clock speed with a 4.1 turbo. Of course, that won't matter if you're trying to overclock it, which, unfortunately, I could not stick a uh, cooler in this build, so if you want, I will have a cooler down in the description if you have extra money for one. Uh, I'll probably include something along the lines of the uh, Hyper 212 UO in there, which is a really great uh, CPU cooler. Next is the motherboard. Uh, I threw a 990FX in here from Gigabyte. It is the UD3 AM3 Plus motherboard. Um, this motherboard is just ridiculously popular. It's $125 and it has a $20 rebate if you go ahead and go for that rebate, uh, making it $104.99. This motherboard is outstandingly popular. It's probably one of the best motherboards to buy for an AM3 Plus uh, CPU. It is it is just ridiculously good. I, I can't stretch that enough. It has every all the features you'd want. It has tons of ports on the back of it. Uh, it's black and gray, which is a very nice color scheme, in my opinion, for Gigabyte and uh, motherboards in general. Glad they stopped doing the extremely light blue thing. But anyways, <laughs> moving on to the RAM. We have G-Skills Rip, uh, Rip Jaws, uh, 8 gigabytes. Uh, it is two 4 gigabyte. Uh, if you wanted to know that, it's two 4 gigabyte sticks. Um, DDR3, uh, and, um, yeah, it's just, uh, really popular RAM. I always like to try and pick the really popular stuff. It's one, about 1,767 reviews on Newegg, five stars too, which is really great. They have, uh, heat sinks on them so they won't get overheated and stuff. And yeah, that's that. Uh, for the hard drive, this is so totally common uh it's just a really great popular hard drive uh the western digital caviar blue one terabyte uh ex internal hard drive i was about to say external i don't know why <laughs> but yeah um it's uh, a lot of space one terabyte um of course if you're going to do editing on this pc which you can uh it's just this isn't a specific editing pc i'd probably change out a couple of the parts which i again will be making an editing pc soon I think I'll be making three different builds, uh, but for this, uh, we're just going to stick one terabyte in. I'd change the hard drive up a little bit uh, if this was an editing PC, though. Next up is the graphics card, which is the MSI R9 270X. Uh, it is the 2G version, which I'm not sure exactly, actually, what that means. Uh, it's just in the title. Uh, I guess it's their second revision, but then again, that would be 2R, wouldn't it? Hmm. Anyways, uh... It's got 2 gigabytes of memory, 256-bit GDDR5 PCI Express 3.0, memory bus, etc. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like this. Uh, 1,280 stream processors, and yeah, this is, a, this is a really nice GPU for $200. Really great GPU, actually. Um, next up is the NZXT Source 210. Elite black steel with painted interior ATX mid tower computer case with black front trim. That is a really long name. <laughs> um, this is another really popular case. Again, I try to pick the most popular stuff that is uh, not dirt cheap to make it feel like it's not. I don't know, like like you're not getting your money's worth. It's just a really good cheap case that a lot of people like. Um, and I picked the Elite, by the way, if you're wondering, I picked the Elite versions of the case because they have a toolless design. I'm not sure how some of you feel about that. Some people actually don't like toolless, which is a bit surprising to me because toolless is an excellent... It's going to be the future, guys, to be completely honest. Toolless 
is really great in my opinion. You got to start getting used to it if you don't like Tulis. It holds things in properly. Nothing's going to fall out. It's just a click in, button push, whatever the hell it is. <laughs> uh, I think it's very, very awesome to be honest. Uh, the Corsair CX Series 500 Watt ATX Modular 80 Plus Bronze ATX 12 Volt Rail with EPS 12 Volt. Uh, 456 power supply, the CX500M. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to read off the whole name and be silly. Um, but yeah, this is more than enough to power the computer. This is a ton of power. It's modular. I'm going to keep telling you this, guys. I usually put modulars in the builds for reasons, okay? People don't like cables. I, for one, don't like cables. If there's cords and cables or whatever the hell else that you don't need in the computer, why would you have them in there? Okay, so pretty much there's the motherboard cable, there's the GPU cable, and there's the hard drives and uh, the, uh, the optical drive, and that's all the cables you really need. I don't understand the, all, the, all the other crap that a lot of people don't actually use, or if you do use it, then you just snap it in. There you go. There's your extra cable. Um, I, just, I just find modular to be very useful and uh, not so bothersome. And, uh, yeah, that actually, <laughs> I forgot, uh, something that I'm gonna quickly point out is that I will not no longer be including optical drives in the builds. I'm sorry, guys, nobody else does it. I don't include the optical drives, and I don't include the operating systems in the builds. This is actually a $650 with 60 cents build, by the way, if you're wondering. Uh, usually... Yeah, I try to make it cheaper, slightly cheaper, or at the exact price of the name of the build, which this is a $650 PC build, but the way the, there, there's one of the, uh, it's the GPU, the GPU has a little bit of shipping on it, so I apologize for that, it's just that was the cheapest I could find the GPU for, so if you really are kind of picky, you're gonna have to spend 60 cents more than, uh, you you know, normally would have with a $650 PC build, but I'm sure that won't bother too many people. It's just 60 cents. I'm sure you have 60 cents extra for your PC build, uh, considering you're going to need that optical drive, possibly, um, then that's more money anyways. And then the operating systems, which there's different ways you can get those anyways. But anyways, that concludes the build, guys. $650, great gaming PC. Um, very popular high-demand stuff that is uh, used in this build, and, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything, remember, guys, that you'd like for me to slow down about or add to, etc., just post them down in the comments below. If you have any suggestions, actually, to the build, feel free to also do that. And remember, one last thing, guys, there are going to be optional items that I will put in the description below. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and remember, stay sexy. Peace.